Start up today, move it, turn the key on, nothing happens with the screen, right? The screen's dead. But you can crank it. Well, sometimes, right? See, sometimes it just does this weird shit. Tried jumpering out a few things in the ignition switch. No luck. Checked all my fuses. Um, they all look good. Hooked up a jump box to make sure it was getting enough voltage. Um, batteries charged. It's not that. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe voltage regulator or maybe the computer's just bad because I know this thing does use the computer um, to run the fuel pump for a few seconds when you turn on and nothing's happening. So I have no fuel injection, uh, no ignition, and no fuel pump. I heard it down to my computer and so I figured I'd open it up and see what there was to be seen. Um, obviously there's been tons of moisture getting in this computer since day one. Tons of corrosion in here. The seal around it is pathetic. Um, there's even sand in it. That's how poorly sealed these computers are on these bikes. And if you look right here, you will see the major issue. If it'll focus. Yep. Computer's screwed. Inside this computer, it's just crazy. You can see all this weird corrosion. If you look right here, you see another... Set of burnt out contacts. I mean, it's pretty much mud inside the computer. This is just pathetic. It just so happens that this right here is a $1,000 part. And of course, it's tied into every single f component on the bike. It's controlled by the computer. Fuel pump, you know, screen, everything. It can send out signals to all the relays. So I was having problems with just about everything. And I was getting all these weird readings. And this is the, uh, the one thing shared by... All the components I'm having a problem with. Go 2016 Can Am, 160 miles on it. Uh, about two and a half months old. Yeah, it needs a $1,000 computer. I'm shaking out of the inside of my computer. Just there's there's not even moisture in here. It's full of water. There's like this white milky stuff just growing with a bunch of water. This is the Can Am's idea of sealing a computer, putting a metal cover on it with this foamy O-ring and just clamping it down there. I, have, I suspect that the heat of the engine actually affected this because around it, and if you look in here, water was coming in the connector too. On my 2016 um, Can-Am, it's a couple months old, you know, it's time for a new computer, normal Can-Am maintenance. Uh, you see the price tag here, best price I can find it for is $927. Say, oh, you bought the, you know, the Outlander L, it's the cheap model. They all use the exact same parts, people, like pull your head out of the sand, run the part numbers. Hooked itself, and then be, you know, then started letting water in. Uh, and it's not like, oh, you dunked it in water that happened. That thing was leaking so bad, it would have eventually gone out from just periodically washing your bike with a water hose. Oh, it's because you got the base model. Like, I've literally heard it a hundred times. Like, oh, don't get the base model. Look, the XMR uses the exact same computer, okay? With the exact same connector and the exact same bullshit crimped, uh, 10, you know, 10 piece over a cast aluminum piece. It's, it's no more waterproof. It's mounted at the exact same spot. You're just as likely to have this problem on the $10,000 or the $20,000 XMR as you are on the $7,000 Outlander L. Same computer is used on all the 570s, even the XMR. And the 650 XMR. And the 1000 XMR. They all use the exact same style computer and connector. The reason your computer got water in is because it's the base model. Every single Can-Am uses the exact same design computer.